I've been doing comedy for uh, 11 years. How about that? Okay, yeah, there you go. You kind of care. Uh, started in my 20s, now I'm in my 30s, and I have less money. Follow your dreams. We're all going to make it. Show me this. Uh, 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 yeah. Help me. Please. I didn't come here to complain, you know. I, uh, things are going good for me. My roommate just bought a ukulele, so woo! That's happening for about three to four hours every day. Sweet Jesus. It's the price you pay for living out here in LA, I guess. I like it out here. I'm not from here. I'm from the Midwest. I, uh, there's some LA-ness that gets to me. The other day I went to a hip grilled cheese place and the fact that that's a sentence is stupid. You know what a hip grilled cheese place is? My mom's, okay? She makes it with love, yo. I ordered a grilled cheese, the guy said $13. I was like, what happened? Did I black out? Are we running out of bread too? I know we have a water problem, but bread? Did I order 13 grilled cheeses? I was looking at my phone, Tinder, and maybe I said 13. For $13, that guy better come out from behind the counter, give me a hug, and tell me it's gonna be okay. Because that's what my mom would do when she made a grilled cheese. Had enough of Chipotle, too. I went there the other day. I went in there like, are chickens antibiotic free? Whatever, dude, put the antibiotics back in that bird. I can't afford a doctor, put it down its beak. Boop, boop. While you're at it, put some HGH in that beef. I'm gonna get juiced. Grass fed, More of a mall food court guy. That's where I feel the most comfortable, the food court. Went there the other day, went to Sabaros or Sabaros or however you say bad pizza. And I went up to the guy, I was like, cheese pizza. He goes, are you sure? Well, I said it out loud. And then I pointed at you. It was probably the most confident I've ever been in my entire life. So thanks for checking me. I was running hot up in here. He goes, let me ask you a question. I was like, I didn't know there was gonna be a Q and A, but fire away. And the question he asked me is would I go to an ice cream store and still order vanilla, which throws me because I'm not in front of Cold Stone Creamery. I'm in front of a pizza place. Then I realized he's doing a sales technique. It's called upselling. He's trying to upsell me at the food court at the mall. Now, I've never been to a Sabaros team meeting because I've never worked there. So I don't know what happens there. If they're like, hey, you sell some pepperonis this month, free trip to Italy. I don't know. I don't know. What I do know is I want my pizza. So I just look at this dude and we, we have a stare off. And he breaks, gives me my pizza. Because he could sense I was about to do this move. And be in front of Panda Express. There's a lot of competition. Now I'm in front of Qdoba. After I tell you this next thing, you'll be surprised I've ever had a girlfriend. <laughs> but more than once in my life, the first time I went to kiss a lady, a lot of butterflies, I don't know if I'm reading it right, looking at her like, oh boy, oh boy. Here's what I've done more than once. Woo! <laughs> I'm gonna kiss you. I just say that out loud. Like some deranged hillbilly. Come here, oh goodness. Ah. <laughs> One time a girl yawned, I just put my finger in her mouth, zap. I was like, what are you doing, catching flies? Then we dated for a year. So I got something, charm. <laughs> People have kids here, they're popular these days. You see them running around, they're on the loose, kinda. If you have a young kid, here's how you ruin your kid's dream. You make him do his dream as a kid. That'll straighten him out. When I was a kid, I loved the movie Indiana Jones. That's what I wanted to do. I told my parents that. I was like, Indiana Jones. And they're like, all right. Then they sent me to archaeology camp, which sucks. 
It's eight hours of digging in the dirt every day at some sort of child labor camp in the hot sun. There's nothing cool in the ground, like a Mountain Dew can from the 70s that's rusted. No Nazis there. And I'm glad, I'm glad Nazis are gone. Don't get me wrong. But they could have got some theater camp kids who were doing the sound of music and hit those Nazis out in the woods and then buried a sore in the ground for us to dig up or something. They're like, oh, it's a sore. Ah, Nazis, listen. If that would have happened, if I'd have got chased by Nazis as a kid with a sword in my hand, I would have became an archaeologist, <laughs> and I'd have a 401k, mm. <laughs> and a whip. I could probably buy a whip, to be honest with you guys. Got a little bit of extra whip money floating around. <laughs> whip scratch. I think the reason I became a comedian is because I kicked a game-winning field goal for my high school football team. I'll explain, I know it's a weird sentence, you might not, here's the thing. <laughs> I kicked a game-winning field goal for my high school football team and I didn't, it was awesome. Cheerleaders hugged me, I was popular, so the next game, so for about seven days I was real cool. And after I got out of high school, before I started doing this, the in-between years, I was in a bar every night drinking, you know, and uh, one night a guy came in I hadn't seen from high school and, he sees me, he goes, hey, remember we kicked that game winning field goal? And I tried to play it off like I didn't think about it every day, like, what, that? <laughs> and he goes, let me buy you a drink. And at that moment, I realized that that was the highlight of my entire life. Kicking a game winning field goal for a high school football team that went two and eight that season. Was beat 55 to nothing multiple times that season. And in that game where I kicked the game-winning field goal, I missed two field goals. So, I was like, maybe I should stop riding that wave and go do something else in my life. And here I am in California. You're welcome. Thanks a lot, I'm Dave Wade. Have a good night. <laughs>